we've got Jane, Kristen, and Bryn. And breast cancer has almost been another member of your family. Jane, tell me how breast cancer has impacted your family tree. My mother had it. My father's brother had it. My mother's sister had it a little bit later in life. I had it at 60. And then poor Kristen had it at 40, 41. What was it like for you when you were diagnosed? I wasn't surprised because in my 40s, I had had five surgeries to, to remove breast lumps, but they had all been benign. However, when I was 60, I had it on the other breast and that was malignant. What toll did this strong family history on both sides take on you? It really just made me be very in tune to my body and make sure that I took care of myself and never missed appointments. You know, really said to the doctors, I know that mammograms aren't until 40, but I would like one at 30. Tell me about your diagnosis and your reaction. Sure. Um, so I was shocked, very surprised. Um, I was 41, you know, I woke up in the morning, I reached over to turn off the alarm clock and I could feel something hard in my breast against my arm. I actually kind of panicked for me, I think. Um, I went, I made a doctor's appointment immediately. But you were getting regular screenings. So this was between screenings. Absolutely, it was very aggressive. And Kristen, you learned pretty quickly that you had stage 2B. Yes. Hormone receptor positive cancer. Yes. I also have learned mm -hmm. a lot about this in the last year because mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with the same thing, mm -hmm. but my stage was 1A. Tell me what you did as a result of your diagnosis and, and what your oncologist and surgeon recommended. I met with a breast surgeon first. Uh, she was wonderful. And she recommended that I have surgery and then chemo if it was needed. Um, but she felt that the surgery was, was the first step for me. You discovered after your mastectomy that it had spread to your lymph node. I did. I, just, I found out in the recovery room because that was my biggest fear that, yes, it had indeed gone into my sentinel lymph node. Uh, we decided to do the oncotype test to help me determine whether or not to go ahead with chemo. Oncotype scores are amazing. To get the oncotype score, what doctors do is take tissue from the tumor and they can determine what course of action you need to take. My oncotype score was 19, mm -hmm. so I didn't need chemotherapy. What was your oncotype score? My oncologist called me the day before Thanksgiving and told me that my score was 26 and that I had bought myself chemo. Because 26 is really the cutoff. For high chance of recurrence. Isn't it amazing that science has come so far that we're able to get that kind of test to determine what you need to do? Oh, absolutely. It, it really was a game changer in my entire journey. That score helped me be extra proactive and- And make a decision. And make decisions and accept anything that was offered to me. Radiation, for example, I didn't have to do because I didn't have a lumpectomy, I had the mastectomy. And because of my oncotype score being in the high chance of recurrence, I decided that I would do radiation because it was just one other step to not having a recurrence. Your mom has practically become an oncologist herself, hasn't she? <laughs> yes, she has. She, she's learned a lot. Jane, you've learned a lot. And Bren, now you know a lot. Yes. Bren, what are you doing to stay vigilant about your health given your strong family history of breast cancer? Yeah, so I'm seeing a gynecologist and a breast surgeon both every six months, or like opposite every six months. And they're both checking me in detail and just I'm in their books. So if I anything was to happen, I wouldn't have to wait for an appointment. They would be able to see me right away. 
I think a lot of families wouldn't be as open or as vigilant and proactive about their health. And I think you all are a role model for a lot of other families. One thing, it's very clear to me, given your family history and your family's story, that knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you can do. Being able to share my story can only help other people, especially going through breast cancer with young children. I love helping other people because I feel like it was hard, but you know, we made it through and we'll make it through again if we need to.